On many construction sites, especially those involving deep foundations and basement levels, piles are driven deep into the ground to carry the load of the upcoming structure. These piles, though strong individually, need to work as a system. Without being tied together, they are vulnerable to shifting, especially when excavation starts or lateral soil pressures act on them. To ensure stability and to safely transfer structural loads from the superstructure to the piles, a structural element is constructed across the top of the piles. This is known as a capping beam. In this tutorial we will learn what is a cap beam, its features, applications, and how it differ from other types of beams. What is a capping beam? A capping beam is a reinforced concrete beam cast across the heads of piles to tie them together. It performs several critical structural and construction-related functions. Most commonly, it is used in projects involving pile foundations, especially when retaining systems or basement excavations are involved. You might wonder, where does the pile cap fit in? In many cases, individual pile caps are connected using reinforced concrete to form a continuous capping beam. Typically, at least three piles are tied together to ensure adequate resistance against lateral forces, except in the case of caisson piles. In addition to providing stability, capping beams are also well suited for distributing the load from closely spaced columns or load-bearing walls evenly across a row of piles. Key functions of a capping beam are Ties together multiple piles, ensuring they act as a unified support system. Prevents lateral displacement of piles during and after excavation. Transfers vertical loads from walls, columns, or floor slabs to the pile group. Provides a base for constructing basement retaining walls or slab edges. Helps resist earth pressure, especially near property boundaries or in excavation support systems. How is a capping beam constructed? 1. Preparation and set out. The construction begins after the piles are installed. The beam alignment is marked accurately across the pile heads. 2. Reinforcement installation. Steel reinforcement is placed over the piles as per structural drawings. This reinforcement is critical for the strength and durability of the beam. 3. Formwork or block wall method. Capping beams may be formed using traditional plywood and steel shuttering, or more economically, by building a block wall to the exact dimensions of the beam and backfilling it to shape the form. 4. Concrete placement. Concrete is either poured into the formwork or sprayed in layers using shotcrete. In some cases, especially when forming part of a contiguous piled wall, the concrete may be sprayed from top to bottom. For instance, some contractors intentionally leave part of the front face of the capping beam open so that the shotcrete wall can later be sprayed continuously, avoiding construction joints. 5. Curing and formwork removal. After the concrete gains strength, the formwork is removed, and the capping beam acts as the binding element that locks the pile system together and prepares the foundation for further construction above. Special Construction Considerations If the purpose of the piles includes resistance to soil movement due to swelling or shrinkage, the capping beam may be cast above ground level, often using compressible material like polystyrene below it. This ensures the beam remains unaffected by ground heave. In tight spaces, concrete block walls can be built to form the sides of the beam, eliminating the need for custom formwork and minimizing additional excavation. Beams in foundation systems, such as capping beams, ground beams, strap beams, grade beams, and plinth beams, play distinct roles depending on structural and site-specific requirements. Capping beams are constructed at the top of piles to tie them together. They provide lateral stability and ensure effective load transfer in deep foundation systems. Ground beams connect individual shallow foundation elements such as isolated footings or pad foundations. Grade beams are reinforced concrete beams that span between foundation elements such as piles or piers. Strap beams connect isolated footings horizontally, especially when dealing with eccentric loading. They do not directly carry vertical structural loads but balance the load distribution between footings. Plinth beams are constructed at the base of walls, just above ground level. They support the wall load and also act as a tie between columns to resist differential settlement. All five are typically made from reinforced concrete but are applied in different scenarios. Understanding their individual roles helps ensure proper load transfer, structural stability, and long-term performance of the building. 
In this case, cap beams are required when piles are closely spaced and act as part of a retaining or basement wall system. You're watching Civil Engineering Fanatics, your source for clear insights into civil engineering and construction.